What up, racers? Afternoon matchup here on the track. Let's go ahead and kick things off. Number 33 car, Cabral, signed with Quiet Racing yesterday. Number 11 car, Ethan Letterman, signed with Invisible Elephant. And hot off the presses this morning, we've got number 9 car, Perez, signed with Gunner Motors and Wayne Glensky. We've got a new person entering the track for the first time. The number four car, Barry, is going to start out with Rookie Racing. Expect to see him on the bid board for the garages by the end of the day. Let's get these super rookies on the track. We're going to move this down a little bit to the number of laps. We're going to do two laps just because I think that these, la these, these races need to be a little bit shorter, especially considering all the banging that goes along on the track, and these guys are having a hard time finishing some of these races. So let's go ahead and get started here. So again, this is the Super Rookie Division. At present, as of right this second, these cars are not gaining points for their team garages, but this is actually the first race for the new players, three of them getting getting some time with their new garages. So at this second in time, there is not a way that they're earning points for the garage, but I'm actually going to think about how I can do that this afternoon and these racers may be earning some points for their garage. Just a few points, but there's no reason to run races that don't count, right? So I'll figure out a way tonight that these, these races are counting. Maybe not from a statistic standpoint, but maybe from a point standpoint. Well, Letterman takes the inside on Smith and has the lead here on the final lap. Perez is in ninth. Cabral is in fifth. And it's going to be Smith takes the checkered flag. Letterman finishes in second. Nice race there for Ethan Letterman in the Invisible Elephant. And then we've got Cabral for Quiet Racing finishes in sixth. And Perez for Gunner Motorsports finishes in ninth. And the new guy in his first ever rookie race, short race, the number four car, Barry, finishes just off the podium. So again, these races don't technically count, but I'm going to work on that. And we'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know where we go from there. So let's go into the races that actually do count. This is the RC Pro-Am division. And as you can see, full races. Got to go back up to 20 cars. Number of laps in this race will be about 25. We're going to move qualifying to one lap, and we're going to get this show on the road. So for anybody who's tuning in for the first time, if it's not the first time you've heard me say this a million times, this is the qualifier. Not every car is on the track. Only one car is on the track at, during qualifying. But this is everybody's qualifying race superimposed over each other. Instead of us watching 20 qualifiers over and over and over again, this is just everybody's qualifying superimposed. So it looks like Cantaloupe is going to grab the pole. This is a super short track. Congratulations to Algabo Racing's Cantaloupe. Nice showing there for Invisible Elephant in the 3-4 spot. But again, this is a super short track, guys. This India track is short. So I expect to see some decent amount of damage on this track because of the bends. And we'll see how far a leader can get out ahead of the pack to try to stay away from some of the damage. Cantaloupe, who had the pole, has already lost the lead here to the Dudneys. Both Dudneys have already passed him, AJ and Mark, in first and second, the father-son duo for Invisible Elephant Speedworks. But Cantaloupe, oh, here comes Blakeway. Blakeway trying to get in there. AJ's got the lead by half a second here. I expect a number of lead changes in this race. Algabo Racing's Cantaloupe and Scott Justice in the 3-4 right now. Let's take a look down at the pack. Tim Burkhart is in 8th. Daniel Witzke is in ninth. Chapman from Quiet Racing is in 10th. And Cam for Quiet Racing is in 11th. You can see both Cobra Kai cars right there, Wetmore and Nelly Selly. And let's check out all oh, Team Hoonigans, Daniel Witzke right there in the Fuchsia Pink car, the number 37 car. Battling it out. Zoom in here and see how this race is going here. Cam and Witzke battling it out. Banging around. Witzke just slammed into the 27 car. 
almost three wide on that turn. Three wide on that turn for sure. Nice battle there. Let's move our way up into some more of these other battles. There's the Nelly Selly car with Ethan Watterson and Dominic from Top Gun Racing on his tail. Nice battle there. Jafari Blackwood and Watterson are going to pit. Probably a smart move here. Get them fully greened up on the damage and greened up on the tires. There's AJ, our leader. Pretty far out in front here. Nice battle going on here for 3, 4, and 5 with Burkhart, Lippa, and Mark Dudney who's dropped back a little bit. Nice boost move taking Burkhart on the inside. Nice move there by Mark. Now in fourth place chasing down Scott Justice in the Cyan car, the number 19 car. Two-time winner already in the RC division. But nice battle here. Top, top Gun Racing. Where are you at? Let's see where Top Gun Racing's at. Well, Buddha and Cam are going to pit. Burnout coming flying out. Let's take another higher zoom. Kind of playing with some camera angles here. So we can zoom into some certain parts of the race. That may have some good battles. Lots of fellas pitting here. Witsky, Wetmore, Dominic, Selly, and company are pitting. Let's take a lead back at your leader. Your leader's going to pit, and that's going to influence the top racers right now to pit. And AJ gets back out of the pit in the lead. Scott Justice passes AJ's dad, Mark Dudney, in the five car for second. We're already 13 laps into this race. Invisible Elephant Speedworks looking good so far in the one and three spots right now. AJ is looking like he's in total control here. But back in here, we've got a lot of moving pieces. Lippa and Straw, almost three wide with Burkhart and Blakeway. Lippa's been racing very well the last few races, all the way up here in the four spot, trying to battle for his first podium. Straw takes him on the inside. BS Racing looking pretty competitive in this race. Let's take a look back here at Tim Burkhart and Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe's been super competitive in most of these races, as has Scott Justice lately. Looking good for Al Gabo Racing. Quiet Racing not having a great race here. They're in the middle of the pack with both the 22 and the 27 car. Nice move by Ethan Wetmore there. There's Top Gun Racing. There's Watterson and Dominic right there together with Jafari Blackwood smashed in the middle. Jacob Smith having a little bit of a tough race down here in 24th. And look at this. <coughs> Wayne Glensky all the way down in 18th. He is our points leader right now, guys. Wayne Glensky is our points leader. 18 laps into this, man. Look where he's at. That's crazy. He's going to have to do something here. This is going to be a huge, huge finish for Glinsky. He's worked his way up to 17th, but this could be a huge hit to his point standings. He's only got a two-point lead right now over Gabriel Cantaloupe and Algabo, and only a three-point lead over Jack Straw and BS Racing. So he's going to have to find his way working up. He's back into 16th now. But Wayne having a tough race. We've got a new leader here at the front. And Scott Justice. He's already lapped Jafari Blackwood in burnout. AJ's trying to do the same, but the back of the pack is really slowing him down and pushing him to the outside. I think Justice and AJ look really, really good here on damage and tires to try to finish this race without another pit. Cantaloupe's looking pretty good, and Lippa's looking pretty good. So I don't expect any of these guys to pit for the rest of the race, so let's just watch the leaders here as this race comes to a finish. AJ on the inside takes over Justice. AJ looking for his second win, and he's about to lap Wayne Glensky. Man, 
Nice moving there. Nice driving there by AJ, trying to stay away from everybody. We're about to hit the final lap here. Just has taken AJ on the inside and passes him. He's going to easily pass Glinski. And Glinski's going to cause some problems here for AJ. Actually, he's causing some problems here for Justice. This is going to be a barn burner to the finish. Justice and AJ. AJ with the boost takes him on the inside, and AJ's going to win this race. What a move at the end by AJ. And the dude knees are going to take first and third for Invisible Elephant Racing. Wow. Heck of a race there. Another race with a beautiful move in the end. Crazy. And the Dudneys unbelievably take first and third on the podium. That was an exciting race. Back and forth all race. AJ had the lead for a while. Justice took the lead late. AJ burns him on the last turn of the race and takes home his second victory. This is a huge win for Invisible Elephant Racing for the Constructors standings because both of those teams are going to get a boat ton of points. They're going to pick up 52 points in the Constructors on that. And Lippa, look at this, man. Hot Wheels has been struggling, but Lippa and Buddha are in the top 10. Lippa getting the fourth. Cantaloupe looks good with the fifth. Rounding it out, Straw, Burkhart, Blakeway, Chapman, Buddha, Wetmore, and Selly and Cobra Kai right there in the 11-12. Another tough finish here for Team Hoonigan. Witski and Burnout finish 14th and 18th. And again, another tough race for the Rainbow Warriors as Jacob Smith and Jafari Blackwood finish in the bottom of the pack. Tough race, man. Ian Watterson been super competitive. And Ian Watterson in the Top Gun number 7 car, he finishes all the way in 19th place. And just so you know, he's in 6th place right now coming into this race in the in the RC Pro-Am standings. And again, Glinski was first. So, you know, I don't know exactly what the calculations will look like when it's all said and done. But crazy, crazy turn of events here in this race in India. It's really changed kind of the outlook of some of these, these standings. But again, AJ, congratulations to Invisible Elephant for getting two podium spots in one race. The father and son duo had a wonderful race. And I appreciate all you guys tuning in. I'll try to do some races in the afternoons when I get time, uh, actually, uh, and do some in the evenings when everybody hits the hay. But again, appreciate you being in this league. I'm going to be releasing the new syst boost system here, which is going to kind of even the playing field a little bit, but also nerf some of the categories which tend to have a larger effect on race outcomes to where the most active teams are going to be the teams that are going to be successful and people who tend to not be active or not as active are going to be less successful. But thanks for tuning in. We're only 13 minutes into this and we knocked out a super rookie race and a short India track. And I appreciate you guys tuning in. Again, if you have anybody who wants to be in the league, if you have a friend who, would think, who you think would enjoy something like this, let them know. Everybody who refers a racer, I'm going to give their garage one point, and those points will come in very handy when it comes to purchasing boosts and, and increasing the firepower of your garage. Well, until next time, thanks you guys for tuning in, and thank you for being a part of the MVP Ultimate Racing League.